Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2014 exam. This one is for two marks. Just have a look at the statement, then I'll explain it. They are saying consider a selective repeat sliding window protocol that uses a frame size of 1 KB to send data on a 1.5 megabits per second link with a one-way propagation latency of 50 milliseconds. To achieve a link utilization of 60%, the minimum number of bits required to represent the sequence number field is. Okay, so we want 60% efficiency in SR, that is selective repeat protocol. The formula for efficiency is sender window size divided by 1 plus 2A. Okay. See, sender window size means what we are actually sending. 1 plus 2A means what we can send in best case. So what we are actually sending divided by what we can possibly send in the best case will give you efficiency. Okay. So now they are asking minimum number of bits in sequence number field. Okay. For this, first we need to determine how many minimum sequence numbers are required. So formula for minimum sequence numbers is available sequence numbers must be greater than or equal to sender window size plus the receiver window size. Okay. And you very well know in SR protocol, sender window size and receiver window size is equal. Okay. So ASM available sequence numbers must be greater than or equal to 2N where n is the sender window size or the receiver window size. Okay. Now let's find out what is the sender window size from this equation. Okay. Just substitute efficiency is equal to 60% and find out what is sender window size. Okay. So they are saying efficiency is 60%. That means 0 0.6. This is 0 0.6 is equal to n suppose sender window size is n divided by 1 plus 2a value of a is tp divided by tt the propagation delay divided by transmission delay so propagation delay is 50 milliseconds and this is one way delay anyways in formula also we require one way delay only so this is 50 milliseconds okay Propagation delay divided by the transmission delay. Now transmission delay is not directly given. Let us find transmission delay first. TT will be length of the packet divided by the available bandwidth. So length of packet is 1 KB. Available bandwidth is 1.5 megabits per second. So this is in bytes. This is in bits. That means we need to convert this one into bits. Okay, let's make the units equal. 1 KB means 1024 bytes and let's convert it into bits by multiplying by 8. Okay, so these many bits divided by 1.5 mega, mega means 10 raised to the power 6 bits per second. These many bits per second. So bits and bits will get cancelled. And when this second is written in numerator, it will become second. When per second is written in numerator, it becomes second. Okay. So this much is the transmission delay. Now we need to divide TP by TT. See, A is propagation delay divided by the transmission delay. Okay. So let us substitute the value in this formula. It will be 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 6 divided by 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 6 divided by 8192 seconds. Okay. So let's just calculate it. So 10 raised to the power minus 3 and 10 raised to the power plus 6. They can be cancelled and you will get 10 raised to the power plus 3 only. Okay. Second and second will also get cancelled. Now you are left with 50 into 1500. 
सो दिस इज फिफ्टी इंटू फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड ओके इन टू ओके या दैट्स फिफ्टीन टू फिफ्टी हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई एट वन नाइन टू दिस इज नाइन पॉइंट वन फाइव फाइव ओके सो यू आर गेटिंग नाइन पॉइंट वन फाइव फाइव लेट मी क्लियर सम स्पेस सो आई एम राइटिंग द नेक्स्ट स्टेप हेयर इट इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स इज इक्वल टू एन अपॉन नाइन पॉइंट वन फाइव फाइव इंटू टू प्लस वन ओके नाउ फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एन सो एन विल बी नाइन पॉइंट वन फाइव फाइव इंटू टू दिस इज एटीन पॉइंट थ्री वन एंड प्लस वन विल बी नाइनटीन पॉइंट थ्री वन सो एन इज नाइनटीन पॉइंट थ्री वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स This is eleven point five eight six. So the value of n is eleven point five eight six. Okay, that means center window size is eleven point five eight six. Now we have already seen that center window size and receiver window size will be equal in case of SR protocol. Okay, so let's substitute the values. That means ASN will be greater than or equal to twenty four. Twelve plus twelve will be twenty four. So we need at least twenty four sequence numbers. Okay. Now you can find out how many bits will be there in sequence number field. So minimum number of bits in sequence number field will be five. Because with four bits you can generate only sixteen sequence numbers, so we need one more bit. That means five bits will be required. Also, you can just take log of this value, log to the base two twenty four, and its ceiling. So this will be four point something. Okay, I don't know what will be the exact value. It will be four point something, and when you take ceiling, you will get five. So answer to this question is five bits. Okay.